Hello and welcome to part four in our series on cloth simulation. I've chosen a Texas flag here. We have a couple basic problems. One of them is the camera isn't quite positioned the way we want, so let's just talk about camera positioning quickly. If I hit zero on the number pad, it zooms out. If I hit zero on the number pad again, it zooms right back into the camera. So let's position it by right clicking. You want to make sure it's the active object. You can see I have an orange border here. I'm going to click R on the keyboard once, and uh, that allows me to rotate pretty simply. That's good. And if I hit R twice, that'll give you a little more freedom of motion. So I'm going to hit R, R, and you can also position that way as well. And I'm going to take that view. I'm going to say that that's okay for now. We have a basic problem. If I click Render up at the top and I choose Render Image, watch what happens. We don't see the UV texture. So we need to take a couple of steps because this is the PNG or the JPEG that will appear on the disk that eventually we're going to use to make our AVI file or our movie. So we want the UV textures to show up here as well. If someone out there uh, has a better idea how to approach this, please leave a comment uh, in the, in the uh, show notes down below the video. I learn as much from user comments as I do from my students. Uh, these Blender tutorials that I produce, it really is a collaborative effort. Um, I learn as much as uh, anybody else through this process. So if you have a better idea, please let me know. I'm going to select the flag, and I'm going to come over here to the right. And in my class, you may need to pull this panel out a little bit here and slide this back and forth in order to see everything. I'm going to choose, I'm going to go into, make sure you're in edit mode, and make sure that we have the flag selected. I'm going to hit period on the number pad to zoom in on that. Um, I'm going to create a new material just by clicking new. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to make sure that it's been assigned to the flag. And then I'm going to come over to the right and I'm going to choose the checker box here. And I'm going to create a new texture. And underneath where it says texture, we see the word clouds. I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to say, well, this is going to be an image. And underneath that, we have a button that says open. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open the exact same image that I used for my workspace, which is the Texas flag. And let's go ahead and, and oh, down at the bottom where it says generated. Okay, we're going to change that to UV. And then for the layer, we're going to choose UV text. So if we set these things up under material here and texture here, and I click, uh, I'll go back into object mode now. If I click render image, you can see that in our PNG or our JPEG, we now have the UV texture showing up on the flag. If you'd like to uh, texture the flagpole, you can do that as well. So I'm going to hit Escape. Uh, for my class, I would also ask that you texture the base. So what I did was I went to Google Images, and I just did a simple search for tileable texture. And I found a texture that could be easily and seamlessly tiled. There are lots of those. Uh, we did a rather advanced game simulation earlier in the year where we did some work with uh, tileable textures. There are lots of them to choose from. You can choose anything you'd like. I'm going to take the base, and I'm going to go into Edit Mode. And I'm going to start by subdividing it. I'm not going to subdivide it too much. I'm just going to subdivide it enough. And if I hit period to zoom in, you can see that if I'm going to tile a texture across these squares, it's going to work out okay. We're going to go through uh, that same process. First, I'm going to open up the UV image editor so that I can see this in the workspace. And I'm going to unwrap this object over on the left and I am in edit mode and I'll choose the first option on the list which is unwrap and you can see that uh, we have the Texas flag which has been repeated so we're just gonna swap that out for our new image over here on the right in my UV image editor I'm gonna choose image and then open image and I'm gonna open my texture and if I go into object mode, you can see that we now have a textured base. Looks a little nicer. 
we still have that same problem we had at the beginning of the video where when I click render image it doesn't show up so let's just go ahead and fix that briefly I'm gonna drop into edit mode again and I'm gonna choose down here where the UV image editor is I'm gonna choose properties and I'm gonna go ahead and I'll assign that material we can assign the same material to our base and then I'm going to click on the checker box to the right and we're going to create uh, an image and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the same image that I used, which is my texture. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to choose for coordinates UV and for layer UV text. And with any luck, if I click render image, we now see it in the image as well. If you'd like to texture your flagpole, go ahead and do that. We'll take one last step here before moving on to the final video, and that's going to be to create uh, just some background because right now when we render it it's all gray in the background so let's change that and if you click over here uh, in your options we've got the world let's just do a little work there I'll choose blend sky and you can go ahead and choose whatever colors you want for your sky um, just by sort of adjusting what we got there horizon color make it maybe a darker blue and one of the ones that I always like to pick is stars. And if you click the down arrow down here, you have lots of uh, choices and options there for stars. All right. Now let's go ahead and do render image. And you can see that we've got our flagpole set up and everything is good to go. If I jump out, say 100 frames, and I choose render image, you can see that the cloth simulation is still in effect. It is behaving uh, like a flag would. If you have all of that set up, you're ready to move on to the next video. In the next video, we're simply going to render out a series of PNGs. If you're in my class, I'm going to show you where to put those. And then the video after that, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll produce a video. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I hope so far this has been helpful.